Greetings friends, it's Thursday morning and I'm very happy to say I managed to get this inverter working, the one that had been dropped. And yeah, that's working. So that gives me a perfect opportunity to show you why I built the spin bike. I've got this plugged into the inverter and the problem is the batteries are extremely low and there's no wind and no solar. So what I'm going to do is I've got the spin bike plugged in. I'm going to swap the battery over for the dead one of the dead ones. And then we're going to put it on charge and then we'll also try seeing if we can get this 100 watt soldering iron working in this video we're just going to be used utilizing the power from this 250 watt hoverboard motor uh, which when i spin the bike when i pedal the bike one total pedal revolution gets over eight at the motor it's connected via this controller and you'll see because I'll deliberately do it once at the start of the video, you'll see how the brake will come on once the spin bike starts producing more power than this controller likes. That is the state of the batteries at this exact moment in time. So as I pedal now, we shall see the voltage go up on the controller. going to pedal fast enough to put the brake on I'll just show you it once there you go and that was the brake coming on let's change the battery over on the inverter so it'll start to draw some current right we're charging oh yeah we better get pedaling So we can see that's working pretty efficiently with how much energy is going in. Right, I'm going to plug in the soldering iron. Let's just disconnect the drill charger. Right, the battery is going to tank as soon as I plug the soldering iron in. Yeah, the battery is going to tank as soon as I plug the soldering iron in, so I'm going to pedal and plug it in while I'm pedaling. What's going on now? Well, it stopped vibrating straight away, which was strange the second I plugged it in. And it's harder to pedal now. But 100 watt soldering iron, that's not bad. I'm just going to try pedal long enough to get it really hot. Oh, I've got to unplug it, my legs. Oh. Woo. Just going to put the drill charger back on. Because I think that only uses about 20 watts. That's on now. I'm going to take a break until the inverter starts beeping, which should be very soon, and then I'm going to start pedalling again. That was starting to get really hot, but it was hurting my legs. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug the 100 watt soldering iron back in, and the inverter should start making that mega annoying noise, and then we'll start pedalling. That's going in now. It's going to start going into error very soon. Right, I'm going to start pedaling. I don't know what's going on, but it's definitely 100 watts getting used.
Yeah, so it appears to be working. I don't know where the inverter got that extra bit of juice from to keep on going. Just to show you how hot it's getting. I'm going to unplug it and you should see the voltage start to rise on the display. You can hear the difference in the motor. I'm going to put it I'm going to put the 100 watt load on now. And now when I spin it will feel different. A little bit harder, but smoother almost. I'm calling totally epic on that, and I'm going to leave the drill charger plugged in for now so that it's doing something sweet i'll see you in the next video cheers